All right, so uh, should I start from the beginning, you think? Yep. All right. So Chris again with another video. For those of you that know, I came over from a smaller channel called The Watch Lounge, but now I rebranded to the Luxury Bazaar name. We'll be doing videos here. But that's how I got my start, which I noticed a lot of you guys followed me over once I started with the Luxury Bazaar name, and I appreciate that, guys. And to my longtime followers, a couple years, I appreciate that as well. But uh, today's video topic is Let's Talk Tutor. We have here a wide variety of tutors. There are a few honorable missions that are not here as well. There is the Black Bay Pro, which was released this year, but we have had a couple come through the office as well, and they are really cool pieces, especially for right around $4,500 brand new. Tudor is one of those brands for right around $5,000. You can, it can be a staple in your collection. It can um, stack up to a lot of the higher end watches as well. As a lot of people know, it is Rolex's sister company, which made in the same factory pretty much. And Hans Wolter started the company back in the 20s, I believe it was. And it was known or is known as the working man's Rolex. Perfect example of that here is the 41 millimeter Pelagos. This one, this example here is the 41 millimeter version, and it is a 500 meter water resistant capable watch. It comes with titanium casing, so it wears really light on the wrist. They come in this almost kind of matte black dial, and they also come in like a matte blue, which personally I prefer the matte blue. And I actually prefer this watch over the Rolex, just specs wise, for what you get, like, as I like to say, for the money. The next watch that we have here is the Tudor Ranger, which was another release from this previous year as well. And it was a hype watch, which I can see why it was a hype watch. And it is a 39 millimeter case with about 100 meters water resistance, 20 millimeter uh, lugs, so you can fit all kind of NATO straps on there. And it is a versatile piece, so it goes with everything. This is kind of like the little brother to the Rolex Explorer 1, which I kind of like. Pretty cool watch overall. So for those of you with a smaller wrist, it definitely fit you. And then next we have the Black Bay 41. And this one is the older version. And you could tell by the smiley face on the dial, a lot of tutors used to come with the edit movement. And that's how you could tell whether they're the edit movement or not. They have the kind of smiley face on the bottom of the dial there when they went into the in-house movement. These range right around two to $3,000 in the second mark, secondary market, depending on what option you get. As you see, the one we have here comes with a nice leather strap, as they are handmade by Tudor as well. And we also have here plenty of black bays, guys. We have the stainless. <coughs> I'm sorry, Chris. You're good. Dusted my eyes. You're good. Uh, go again. Just start from, just start from okay. where you left off. Okay. We have here the stainless, the silver dial, which is really light, guys. We have here another of the similar model, but we have plenty of options here, plenty of different materials they come in. This is the PVD case one, which is pretty cool. You see it's got that black ceramic PVD kind of coating, so it's got that kind of darker look if you like that effect. Comes with a nice leather strap. Now, I do believe these also come with a bracelet as well. Not this particular option, but this one does come with a leather strap. And then we also had a couple of Black Bay Blues, like the one I'm currently wearing. But we have them on the bracelet, of course, with that option. These usually range secondary market about three to three and a half thousand dollars. And again, you get a lot of watch for what you get. You get the water resistance. You, you can bang these around, not have to worry about them too much. And again, they have that Rolex kind of cachet. Then we have here the Tudor Grand Tour chronograph, guys. Pretty cool. This is no longer made, I believe. This is a discontinued model. But we do have these. These come in the secondary market. Pretty cheap, guys, for a chronograph. You get it right around three to four, four and a half thousand dollars. And the other last option that we have here for the Black Bays is the bronze. I'm not usually personally a fan of the uh, bronze models. But I do like it in this particular instance. It's not too, uh, not too tarnished, I guess you could say, because usually over time, you wear them a little bit and they get a little tarnished. The bronze kind of fades out. But again, that's just to show you guys a plethora of options that you have with the brand of Tudor. You can get a lot of watch for what you get, as I like to say, for the money. You get a lot of watch for right around $5,000 or under, and they can stand up in a lot of collections with higher-end watches as well. 
and definitely wear them with pride, and we will see you guys in the next one. Killed it.